It's time to get into the big leagues, and that's because it's a big box with a big model. It's a Scania 730S V8 4x2, and the reason it's so big is because it's in 1 to 18 scale. It comes in its own outer shipping carton, and using the heavy lift hand cranes, we can get the model box out. It is in NZG's Black House style, and there it is, 1 to 18 scale. The model on the box is in white, but this is a special edition. It's a black V8. Opening the box is a bit of a challenge to get the trays out, so we need to do some more heavy lifting. Included is an instruction sheet, and we'll see more of that shortly. And there are some parts, and the first one is actually an accessory set that's not included with the main model, but we'll see that later. Then there are some bags containing some other parts, and this one has some cotton gloves. So this is a very high quality, well presented model. The big trays are taped together, so firstly we need some intricate knife work. And then we can lift off the top tray and get our first sight of the model. Next, it's time to follow the instruction sheet and pull out the two side pieces. And the reason for doing this is that it allows you to get your hands properly underneath the right place to lift the model out. But bear in mind this is a big model and you will need some large heavy lift hand cranes. So there's our first look at the model. Let's take a quick look at the instruction sheet. In addition to the unpacking instructions, it describes the main working features of the model. In the box there are some optional parts and these get fitted if you attach the big LAW vehicle transporter. That is a very large 1 to 18 scale model and NZG also makes cars that you can put on it. The parts for attaching the vehicle transporter are a special plate for the fifth wheel attachment and there's also a protection plate further forward. In this review we're just looking at the tractor on its own. And the first thing we can fit is a walking plate that goes just behind the cab. It is metal and it has tabs on it which fit into place on the top of the chassis frame. Next we have to fit the fifth wheel and that comes as a separate plate. And it clips down firmly into place. That's all the assembly but let's get the size in perspective. And here we're comparing it with a 1 to 50 scale NZG tipper truck. So with that said let's do a dim check and get the tape measure out. And it's around 33 centimeters or 13 inches long. And if we measure the total width, including the door mirrors, it's 16 centimeters or just over six inches. And lastly, we can check the height, which is 22 centimeters or about nine inches. But this is an NZG model with a high metal content. So let's put it on the cranes, etc. weigh bridge. And as you can see, it is heavy being just over four kilograms or nine pounds. Starting underneath and the details are pleasing. The underside of the engine and gearbox is visible and it's nice that the detail is enhanced by cables of varying thicknesses. The exhaust system is nicely modelled and there are large tanks. Looking towards the rear axle there's a fully detailed drive shaft and differential and the rear suspension is also impressively modelled. At the back there is a nice touch as the mud flaps are flexible and the wheel chocks are modelled also. The tyre tread pattern is different front and rear. Looking at the roof of the cab and there are nice air horns and another nice touch is the aerials which are stiff wire. There's an impressive looking light bar and the individual lamps are well detailed and it's very good that the roof light is properly glazed and you can see through it. Looking inside the cab and it's very nicely detailed, there are nice seats and there are also seat belts with little buckles. It's always impressive to see the Scania grille and the model is no less impressive. The big Scania name is chromed and there's a small badge too and there's a very realistic meshed grille. Down at the bottom we see the 730S badge and there's a dummy NZG number plate. The main headlights are also nicely modelled. Let's have a different look at the inside, this time at the instrument console. And the larger scale allows it to be very realistic. The detail also includes the inside of the door. 
And the mirror's also done well with the top one having a nice convex shape. On the side of the cab there's the large V8 graphic and the door handles are detailed. The steps also have a nice mesh stepping surface. The tyres don't have any branding on but the wheels themselves are detailed. Looking behind the cab the Scania name is embossed in the metalwork and all of the details within the casting are well done. It's also particularly good the way the coiled lines can be managed. There are a variety of different surface types behind the cab and it all has an authentic appearance. The top of the tanks and the fifth wheel look the part and the big wheel arches are plastic just like the real truck. The rear wheels have been modelled well and at the back the lights have plastic lenses and Scania is printed on the mud flaps. With the model carefully placed on its back the rear wheels can be seen to spin freely and the steering has been engineered well and it has a realistic range of movement. There's another nice piece of model engineering on the rear axle and that's because it has working dampers. They are very stiff and that's appropriate given the size and weight of the model. Out onto the cranes etc test track and this big heavy model rolls very smoothly. We move swiftly on to testing the steering so let's set a good hard lock and the Scania corners very nicely indeed. Moving to the fifth wheel and it has an operating latch so you can always clamp your kingpin. As you may have already guessed the cab doors open and looking inside a nice touch is that the armrest of the seats can be raised and lowered. There's another interesting small feature which is if you turn the front wheels then the steering wheel turns. Not a lot so it's more representative than accurate. Another interesting feature is that you can open up the front grille of the Scania and it raises to a decent height and then you can see some of the equipment underneath. There's another working feature and it's a bit of a spoiler. In fact it's the roof spoiler which can be raised and lowered. The last and biggest working feature requires the coiled lines to be removed from their holder and then we can tilt forward the big cab. It poses in a tilted position and you can see the big engine underneath and it's nicely detailed. Once the cab is lowered back down we can restore the coiled lines to their position in the holders. Two of them have the lines clipped on and the other two have plugs on which get plugged in. Also available for this model is an accessory pack. It includes a ball bar and also some edge trims. To fit the ball bar you have to carefully put the model on its back first and there's a plate which gets screwed into the underside. Small screws are included to make the attachment. This is a little bit fiddly to do and actually the screws are quite hard to tighten up properly. With the Scania back on its four tyres we can try out the ball bar. It is a clip mechanism and once it's unclipped you can fold it forward and that would allow the cab to tilt. The detailing of this accessory is very nice and the ball bar has a nice mesh finish and there's a space for fitting a number plate. Also included in the set are a pair of side edge trims and these are easily pressed into place. They are plastic but they look good consisting of a chromed bar with lights. As an option to fitting the big ball bar you can fit a front edge trim and that fits in the same way as the side ones it just presses into place. And the detailing of the front trim is of a similar standard. NZG has produced an extremely impressive model in 1 to 18 scale. The large size is combined with a high metal content to give it a real quality feel. In addition it's also a great combination of detailing and functionality. So if you want a Scania to impress, this one is excellent.